Hello. All right, so I thought today I should take you guys out and just hit a couple of thrift shops and just check out what kind of outerwear is out there that I like, the kind of stuff that I'm drawn to and just, just show you the whole process really. So yeah, so I thought I'd do that. All right, so before I head out, I thought I would show you um, some pieces that I got in actually three pairs of jeans from and other stories i partnered with them to show you um just some of the denim that i like that they've got a lot of times when i'm doing videos i am wearing and other stories so this one it's called a treasure cropped jean i'll put on the screen for you high-waisted it's black wide leg and i thought i would go with um these because um they come in blue but i wanted to, they come in blue but i wanted to go with black because you know i don't have too many black jeans so i thought why not um they're made from organic cotton which is nice um also they have a little bit of stretch as well which is always a plus and they are very black like really like a true pair of black jeans i thought i'd just put them on just to show you just for like you know just seeing how they look with a pair of boots on it is definitely a wide cut like a different kind of tapers like it's high up on your waist and then it just tapers down into a slight flare at the bottom which i really do like um so this is how they look on me they do go in which i always look for to see if a jean actually goes in at the back and these do which is great this cardigan is also from end of the stories it's really soft it's it reminds me of something i would find actually in a vintage shop it's so warm you don't even need to wear anything underneath it like you wouldn't put another um like a thin knit it just doesn't need it because it is that warm like, all right so hang on let me just show you the next one from under the stories this is called their crush cut jeans these are like a cropped flare leg so it slightly flares a little bit at the bottom um i love again that it's cropped because it allows for a good boot moment like this love stuff like that you know just i feel like they get to realize that we want to show off our shoes we want to show off our boots because we love a good boot at this time of the year so i feel like jeans like this is a really good opportunity too also high-waisted and these ones fit very very snug and i actually kind of like that the back again it does go in i like when it goes in even though it has a little bit of stretch it doesn't look like stretchy jeans they look sort of like more traditional jeans if that makes sense this is like your perfect boot showing off jean because it's a little bit flared and cropped at the bottom it's like a kick flare leg the cardigan is also from under the stories this is the one that has the bees on so if you i mean i stalk under the stories all the time anyway just to see what they've got but i always liked the one this cardigan that has the bee that beige one that i'm always wearing that I thought it'd be nice just to get like an update to it and just have something else to wear so I'm not always flipping wearing that beige one I like this one as well again nice fit to it very comfortable and perfect to wear with all your ankle boots Wait, did I say this is organic cotton as well all right so nice mid wash jean all right expect to see more of this on my channel all right so I'm going to show you the last pair that I got and then we can like go out and this is the last pair this is the, I think it's called Favourite Cut Jeans from Under the Stories. They are grey, which I really like. I actually, I think I like grey jeans more than I do black, actually. Because I just feel like they're so, um, I don't know. It's just like a softer version of it, right? By the way, all these jeans, the three jeans, they all come in different colours, like two colours. So this one has a blue version, not just the grey. The one I tried on before also had a black version and the one before that has a Anyway, you know what I mean. So made from organic cotton, much more of a, a tighter, sort of slightly skinnier cut, which would be perfect with over the knee boots. I've got them on barefoot because I wanted you to first just see how they look um, before I put a boot on. I am just under five foot seven for reference. And I just teamed it with their blouse. This is the one with the large collar. You know, they've been in at the moment wearing like really like oversized collars. And I thought, look at that. I just thought this would be a nice one to try because I like the, the detail. As always, I'm going to link everything for you below. Okay, so I just quickly put a pair of ankle boots on just so you can see how they look. This is like a very easy out the door look. This would look good, like I said, with a pair of over the knee boots. I can easily see that because 
the jean is so slim on the leg and again it does go in at the back let me know in the comments below but i've always found at least for me that grabbing my tit a lot of them they don't they just kind of do that weird gape at the small of your back it goes in that's what you want you want it to go in but so that's the last pair of jeans i'll link all of these jeans for you below so you can check them out yourself and i'll also put the sizes below in the description box so you can see if that helps you just a little bit let me get ready to head out and uh, see what's out there with the coats and the jackets and you know just stuff on the thrift shops okay hold on <laughs> By the way, let me know in the comments below um, which jean is your favourite and also are you into black jeans or blue jeans? Like I feel like some people have like a distinctive pair that they like to wear colour wise. Okay, so I'm going to head out now and I thought I would just change into my pleated skirt. You guys know about this pleated skirt already. God, the length of it is just absolutely spot on um, with thrifted men's blazer the Frankie Shop padded tee, Mazoma necklace, um, thrifted um, vintage Dior saddle bag, bought it right before the hype, right before Dior released, re-released it, when they were as cheap as chips, as Paula would say, and I added my Kate Kate strap to it. Okay, so, right, let's go. So I just found parking, um, I'm going to No Relation, I love No Relation, I have not been there in months, I think. Anyway, I'm gonna go there now. I love this place, it's so good. Anyway, I'll stop talking. When I'm looking in thrift and vintage shops, I am looking for classics, um, and it could be pattern, but it has to be classic, okay? This is from a thrift shop but it is something that I got like last year as part of a suit, men's, because I love the boxy cut of it. So that's something to bear in mind, it's the cut. Also the color, so I'm drawn to color when I go into these kind of shops, looking for things that I think are not only timeless, but will suit my, my skin tone. Um, and then the material as well. I'd like if it's, you know, better quality material, with 100%, you know, cashmere or wool, a good wool blend you know that type of thing yeah so we'll see what it's like there <laughs> we are here no relation i missed you so much oh, oh my gosh what is that okay i'm getting distracted look at that oh gosh let's go in let's go in Oh, this was just so cute, right? It's eight dollars. I know we're not looking at men's or outerwear right now, but I just, what do you, what do you think? I really like it. I could wear it as a layering piece. Oh, I'm holding this. It's eight dollars for goodness sakes. This really reminds me of acne. coach
my god talk about sunlight that was so cool here it is one last look well it won't be the last you know i'm going to be back to this place Okay, so I hope that helped a little bit. I wanted this video to just be like a quick, um, sort of, I don't know, just a quick, not come shopping with me, because I wasn't shopping. Although, I did get, I got that, and I did, I got the oversized fisherman jumper, because it just looks so good. Um, I loved the idea of just um, taking you with me to see, you know, what do I gravitate to when I'm in these type of thrift and vintage shops? It's just like, it's not difficult. Honestly, it's not. Ignore the sizes, that's definite for sure. And just like I said before I walked in, look at color, cut, the silhouette, the composition of the material. Um, and just like I said, colors that are neutral, colors that go with your wardrobe, colors that go with your skin tone. That's kind of it in a nutshell in terms of what I look for. Um, and then it's just like, just once you kind of have an idea of your style and the kind of vibe that you like, you just kind of gravitate to wearing those pieces. All right, so that is it. Um, I think I'm gonna sign off here. Don't forget the link for um, and other stories below. And give this video a like if you got a little bit of help as far as like help with thrifting. If Karen was with you, I was with you, what would I gravitate to or what would I suggest you gravitate to? What would I recommend and why? Is I am going to do a part two of shopping in the posh neighborhoods because I know I did that before and I feel like I want to do it again. I just need to pick laser precision, pick three more places and then go there instead. But consignment, because consignment is really good because that's where it's got designer stuff, right? Like, well, just designer labels because it's in the bougie neighborhoods. I think I'm gonna do that next. I'm off now. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not already. Have a good week and I will see you on Friday. Don't forget I do videos twice a week now, Tuesdays and Fridays. Take care my loves. Bye.